This week on the show, we're featuring Rose Quartz, 30 Jokes, Diopside Under the Microscope Cam, Chocolate Milk on Why'd I Buy That, One Minute Worth of Live Chess, and the following show contains trace amounts of effort. The following show contains trace amounts of effort. Are shining bright and so pretty Where the cabarets and honky-tonks sit by There's a world of make-believe Where nothing's what it seems On a one-way street at the end of the line where the whiskey warms my soul But soon leaves me cold Like the memories Tearing through my mind It's a nightmare, not a dream A lonely prison for fools like me Where the tortured souls can hide Broken hearts like mine There's a point of no return From a cold and lonely world It's just as cold and lonely Here inside And if you listen close You'd hear It's the sound of a tear and the call of a fool out of his mind If you ever cry like me There's a home for misery Where tortured souls can hide from Broken hearts like mine cold and lonely world But it's just as cold and lonely here inside And if you listen close you'd hear It's the sound of a tear And the call of a fool out of his mind If you ever cry like me there's a home for misery Where tortured souls can hide from broken hearts like mine Why did Batman get upset with the Riddler? He couldn't take his Riddler Let's start the show.
cheers to you great folks out there in YouTube land. This is an old stone. I cut this stone during the gemstone overload 2019. This is not the stone, by the way. This is a different stone. This is a longer stone. I missed the joke. Talk louder. And I think this is about as loud as I can go. Let me see if I can turn it up a little bit. I'm not sure if I can adjust audio in real time, but I will try my best to accommodate. Could be a bonus. Doesn't quite look like it yet. Can we go up? No. Can it go up? Can we boost it? It's possible we could boost with some sort of boosting. I don't know, Colette. I'm going to have to talk a little louder. I'm going to try. Maybe I can turn it up afterwards. I really don't like microphones anymore. Not to, not to complain at the beginning of the show. I'm so frustrated. But then again... Let me know if you can hear me at all, uh, or enough. What we need to do is have a stream where we go live, and y'all hang out in the chats and tell me how the microphones sound, and we change the settings. That way I can talk about gems on the gem show, and people can hear me talk about gems on the gem show. Is the saw too loud? Let me know if that's too loud. I've got the microphone so close to my face, I'm afraid that my my nose is going to come through again. Oh, that was so frustrating. I listened to last week's show. I do, about every other month or so, I listen back to the show, and I try to get an idea of how it sounds. And I didn't like breathing on the microphone, so I've got it up where I can't breathe on it. Find volume if I were listening. Oh, if you were listening. But you're not, so how do you know? Cheers, Terry. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I don't even understand what I'm reading. But I did, I, I actually had a attempt at doing the show before we got a little sidetracked there with um, what I'm trying to do to actually get the show to be doable. Turn down the saw. Okay, I can do that. The saw is very loud. I think it's a very loud saw. I usually give about three clicks on the saw. There we go. I want to have a little bit of ASMR in the saw. Oh man, I think this is that This is that chunk that True Agriculture sent me. I need to cut a little bit more into that. We cut most of the good into it already, and uh, I think that... Uh, there might be a little bit more in there. I'd like to send him another gem. I just haven't had the time. Last week I couldn't do the show because we didn't have any network. I think it was the cold. Shout out to all the people who've been experiencing the, the extra cold. My word. Did somebody leave their refrigerator open? Shh. Don't assume. Shh. LOL. Shh. Are you laughing because you're airing out your bowling shoes? And you've been inhaling the fumes. So you're laughing out loud. That's the sound of you spraying out your bowling shoes. Shh. Cheers. Mmm. Almost delicious. Almost worthwhile. <coughs> Oop. I dropped the camera. Let's see if I can fix it. Oki Grower 75. Very cool. Hey, thank you, Oki. I appreciate that. This rose quartz is full of cracks. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. Another one of those ones where I don't. I can't bring myself to just like grind it up into nothingness. You know. Hit that thumb shaped thing that you inhale from. It's medicinal, right? Whoa. There's the camera. Being all camera y. 
I put a red shirt on. I don't really, it's really big. It's a really big red shirt. And so it's all like folded over. But I don't have any pink shirts and it's a pink gem. And I was trying to wear something a little bit gem color related. So I went with white with some red. That's what I had. That's what I have to work with. And that's what you got for the shoe this week. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of getting her done. Very creative. Thank you. I'm going to show that on the microscope portion of the cam. Here's the, yeah, you know, it's a guitar pick shape, and it's got a nice cone on the back side, so it actually has a perfect pink color flare. So, like, if I, if I turn it like this way, you can see my finger through the side there because it's, it's see-throughable. But then when I turn it straight, it's perfectly pink. You can see the shade of my my finger, but you can't actually see my finger, which, nah, that's the cracks, but maybe it'll show better on the microscope, maybe not. It's hard with the, the screen lighting it, but the way that I have this cone on the back side, it gives a perfect color, uh, what's the right word for evenness and and flaring out and just generally keeping it inside the stone like I'm supposed to keep this inside the container so I don't drop it like I just did and we'll show that on the microscope portion of the cam I've got some other rough <coughs> here's a gem that's kind of done but it's kind of not it's got it's it's all done except for it's still the natural roughness on the back side. So we'll take a look at that one on the microscope cam. And that it kind of lights up inside, you know, it's got the natural roughness and it's so clean. It's a nice big, big clean piece. I need to polish it a little better so that you can see it down in there a little more. So we'll look at that one. Got another piece. This is a big piece that I haven't really done much with. I cut a little off the side, so we'll take a look at that one. It's going to be, it's it's nice and clean inside, except for this cloudy area. So we'll have to cut that off, and then something over here. And it's probably going to wind up being something similar to this piece, which is clear, but it's, it's cloudy because I haven't polished it yet. It's still in the rough form. And this was going to be the feature, but I didn't get to finish it in time. So we'll take a look at this guy, because it's a big, nice rose quartz piece. Another piece that we're, you know, trying to move forward with. And then there's just a couple other bunch of little pieces. I got this piece I need to figure out how to finish out. Yeah, it's got a nice little backside on it. And a couple more pieces. Not sure what to do with them. Like like this piece here, it's got problems that get worse when I drop it. And it's got like these like lines through it here. So we're going to lose all that up there. And then it's, you know, that really thin down here. So it's like, what am I going to do with all of that? But we'll figure something out. We will. I'm sure of it. So, um, let's see... We could probably get to the microscope portion of the program so that I can get on to some of the other portions of the program. One other thing I'll show you, and we'll, sh we'll get into this more, but when I was cutting on this, I cut a piece off of the bottom of it. Let's see, I want to say it came off of, like, this side. And so we can actually turn this one into a nice little gem, too. It's going to be cool. But we were actually going to feature some chrome diopside on the microscope portion of the program. So we'll actually look at some chrome diopside and I'll show you basically my best chrome diopside related pieces that I have. And the, we'll get into why I haven't shown any chrome diopside on the show. It's because chrome diopside is hard to come up with in big pieces. I thought about buying some lab created chrome diopside, which synthetic is not fake. Just, you know, pointing that out. But it, it it's still it's not natural and I do love natural stones. It's it it's the real rarest of rare. 
Make me a mind stone for my infinity gauntlet. Wait, is that Scrapping's comment, or did that get crossed with Honest Gas Handmade? Infinity gauntlet. Honest Gas, what, are you making a kite? I know it's not a kite. You told me what it is. It's this giant, like, fist thing that you can catch wind with and fly away. Like, uh, no, I, because you were mentioning, is it a windbreaker? Oh, that's the end of the saw video. Let's get into this short little rose quartz video. Not that I have much. Don't remember recording a whole lot with this piece. Really kind of wish I had, though. I wasn't actually going to feature the rose, this, this particular rose quartz piece. But uh, I didn't really have anything else for this week. And I needed a rose quartz piece for, well, last week, right? But uh, that didn't work out because it was so cold. Shout out to everybody last week who was experiencing cold things. That's what I get when I try to open my heart. Everything freezes over. Um, there we go. All right. <coughs> Two more clicks for the grinder because it's not as loud as the saw. And that saw is loud. I usually give three clicks for the... Oh, we should log into the chat bot. There we go. That'll help. Bam! All logged in to the chat bot. So, Scrapping, you're making an Infinity Gauntlet? It's an Avengers reference. You have an Infinity Gauntlet, don't you? Scrapping, you and Honest should get together, because Honest really does get into that making stuff. And Scrapping... Actually, I, Honest... You would probably be interested in talking to Scrapping about uh, smelting. You know, he who smelted probably has some silver to melt in their smelter. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. I prefer natural rocks, or did I misunderstand? Not at all, Jerry. The bigger, the better. Um, actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty open. It, you know, it's mostly just, are you interested in me? I mean, can we make, can we make something together? Can, can, do we get along? Can we spend time together? And so forth. That's what matters to me. That's, do, do you have a big heart? That's what matters to me. And I, I, uh, Paul O'Neill, morning, greetings from the Emerald Isle. Thank you, welcome. Thanks for coming by. Cheers and whoop, oh, oh, I freaking camera dropped it again. Um, so actually, speaking of Emerald, I'm about to look at some chrome. That right there, that picture right there, that's chrome dioxide. We're gonna look at some chrome dioxide under the microscope can. So let's fire it up, shall we? It used to be the, uh, what, the what's up with that ruby cam. And then I haven't done anything with that ruby in so long. I need to. Let's see if we can get this thing to turn on. Powering up. Removing dust cap. Exposing chrome diopside to the audience. This stuff is gorgeous. I love the green in this. It's so cool that you are here, Paul. Because this stuff, and it, it, it's not like a last minute thing either. Like I, I put in the description and I shared it out that I was gonna show some chrome diopside on the microscope cam. I'll show you on the real cam. So this is a big piece of uh, low definition because this, this is a fixed focus camera. But this is um, some chrome diopside and it's thin but this is actually the crystal formation on top, and it's not the natural crystal shape so much, but... Let's see if we get this over here. There you go. It has a little bit of that gemminess to it. But notice how it has like those color planes on the one side, the rainbow stuff on the one side that those are cracks 
So pretty close to the surface, there's a lot of cracks in this piece. So mostly this is a study piece, and I'll show you the other piece, then we'll get into the rose quartz. So this is another piece, and it looks black. I've been grinding on it. It's actually, it's very clean. If I can get it to be centered. Come on, you got this. There we go, that gives a little bit more of the flare of it. I thought it was over there. Wait, right here? And back. There we go. You can do this! Hello, Joan, how are you? We gotta get you a sound effect, don't we? Do we, we have a greeting for Joan. No, it's on the other Joan channel, that's what it is, okay. There we go, that's a little bit of that green in there. So, see how it's got that green and then there's a line? So this piece isn't necessarily a whole piece, but a lot of it is. I'm actually gonna get my cell phone flashlight out and show you <coughs> how clean this piece is. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Zoop. I need a camera operator. Really do. Okay. So notice how much clarity there is in this piece. It's uh it's got a couple of cracks in it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. But there's a lot of clear areas too. It's big. There's Joan, there's her channel. I knew it, I knew it was her channel. Tired of something about the same thing over and over. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to get caught up on the chats. Oop, oh, I closed that, but I opened this, okay. Tired of hearing the same thing over and over. We do. Ch rich, she enriches chat. Exactly. She's playing somewhere else. Or she? Or wait. I forgot what we were talking about. Just about all my materials are recycled, but I'm transitioning to buying wire. Honest, that's what I'm pointing out. You're working with wire. You could talk to scrapping about smelting that wire down and making like, here's my idea. I got this shirt, it's it, not this one, but another one, and it's got solder on it, and that solder's been on there for like eight years through the laundry and all that. We could melt some solder onto shirts, or maybe we could make crests and then melt them onto the shirt, and it would be a really cool thing. Or maybe not. But I like it, it's really shiny. Suzanne Brown, hi, welcome to the show. Do you have any gemstone-related questions? Feel free to ask or point out or go ahead and tell us about your channel. Same thing with Paul, if you want to mention, and all of you. I'm, I'm actually thinking what I need to finish out the show is to be able to keep the video playing, but also I would like to have like a share your thing portion of the program, which we're about to get to the joke stone portion of the program, which is after the gemstone portion, but uh, I wanted to show you some rose quartz, and I hope I didn't miss anything in the chats. If I did, ask me again. I feel really bad about that. I, I think, man, there's a lot of great chatters, and I'm not that fast at reading. Um, okay, so which, uh, there was, okay, that was... That was the chrome diopside, but I want to show you <coughs> the quartz that we're cutting. And, you know, basically it was full of cracks. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. It could use a little bit more polish to get those divots out of it. But for the most part, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's see if turning down the light will help. This one? Nope, that didn't help at all. 
What if I light it indirectly? Experimenting on live TV. That's kind of working. So notice how it goes uh, goes from pink to black. That's the color flare. That's what happens when you have properly opposing facets, is you get the color to flare out. And the way that I coned the back side of this gem, it has an entire pink color flare from the straight on perspective. I really wish that the screen, maybe I could get like a, a dark screen projector thing, because it, it, it doesn't really fully come through, but it's very pink despite its crackliness. So that's one piece. Let's so, see if we can show um, the piece that I was gonna feature. I'll turn the lights back on. Bling! There we go. Wow, we gotta zoom out with the actual like mechanical arm. It's too big! It won't fit! It's too big! It's too big! It's such a honker. It's got kind of a stripe going on in the center. I really need to polish it to finish it out. Notice it's got this flat spot on, on the one side and it's got a point on the other side. I didn't really want to nib off that. You know, it'd be nice and symmetrical if I did, but then again, it's got its character and it's kind of heart shaped a little bit. So let's do two more pieces of rose quartz and then get to the, the joke portion of the program, right? That's probably about where we are with things. I need to check the list. I'll catch up on chats before we do that, though. Which, actually, I need to figure out how to read a little faster, right? Okay, this is not showing up too well. It's out of focus. And it's out of position. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you see those back and forths? I need, those are deep scratches. I need to get those out of there so that we can see down into the stone a little better. I think it's a cloudy stone in general. But, uh, wait a minute. Is it there? Okay. Man, those are deep scratches. I got a lot of polish work to do. So we might actually be able to see in this thing a little bit better if I can get those scratches out of there. Look at all that. See see the like the light areas and dark the swirl. So that isn't swirl in the stone. That's actually the flare. That light that I was showing bouncing off of itself of the rough side. That's the 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 angles and facets, I guess, if you want to call it that of this rough side of the stone. Gotta make sure I show the whole thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna be upset with myself later. I'm, Cause I'm, I'm gonna be like, why didn't you show the whole stone? I wanna see the whole thing. I wanna see it all. I wanna see the whole thing. Show me it all. So I'm trying to make sure I sh show you a good show. And I think it's backwards right now. That's what it is. I got it turned around. Let me see if I can fix that. And give it the quick rotatey. All right, that'll be a little better. It, who uses inverted controls anyway? There we go. It's so backwards. You guys ever try to cut the hair around your ears using two mirrors? Man, I need to go to an actual get your haircut place. Notice the rainbow in the corner? That's because there's a cleave somewhere in the stone. And I think it's right about here, right about where this little line is. It looks like about the right depth, doesn't it? About the right placement? Mm-hmm. So anyway, if we facet the backside of this stone, it'd be really beautiful. But then again, isn't it already? So I'm not sure if we're going to get into that or not. And then the last piece on the microscope portion is this nice... Notice how you can see the grid. It's nice and clear. That's nice and clean and pink. It's nice and pink. And look at how thick it is. It's so thick. Thick from there to there. It 
It's extra thick, baby. Lamb. Slabular. Isn't that slabby? Oh. I see you through the gemstone monocles. So that's pretty much all I got for the microscope portion of the program. Let's go ahead and get the microscope out of the way. Bam. Okay, that was great. Oh, before we do the jokes, before we do the jokes, gotta do the new portion of the program. Why'd I buy that? And um, also I gotta hype an interview portion of the program because we're getting that, getting that set up. Yep, this is an interview. This is scrolling text. Trying to make that a thing. Trying to make it happen. Trying to get caught up on the chats because you're all so great. Paul, they have reserved front for old and disabled. Oh, man. That's good. Just waiting for the revolution so I can run to the front and get it over with the chats lately. Get it over with the chats lately. Don't know what that means. Let's see. Rocks are bad, which means good. And I agree with Benny Loco. Hey, Jeanette's here. Cheers. And Ron Weasley made it. I can't see Ron's. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yep, Ron made it to the chats. Wear your safety glasses. Safely wear those glasses. I do. Actually, I do. <laughs> I have a little video. Um, it's for PBS. It's where I shape a gem and I fast forward through it and I... I do it in, I think the li time limit was two and a half minutes, or maybe it was two minutes, 15 seconds, something like that. And I have, like, this is what you need. And I have gem, grinder, grinding laps, and uh, safety glasses. That's one of the things that I made sure I feature. I hope I didn't miss any great chat. Actually, I did miss great chats, because they're all great chats. You are all fantastic. I'm so glad that you actually came by and chatted with me. Makes me feel like I'm not so alone. Especially, you know, with Valentine's Day and all that, which we're a week late for, but I did try to scream. It was just so cold. It was like my heart. But, um, actually, I did send roses to someone, virtual roses, and they, they said they gave me a virtual hug. And that was awesome. That was really nice. I figure, you know, a lot of people probably get virtual roses. I should send more virtual roses out, but I don't know if I should or not, so I always, you know, just trying to be Jacob and be nice and be why'd I buy that? That's the next part of the show. Chocolate milk. The structure's in the way. Moving it up. There we go. That, hey, that's perfect. Hey, right, perfect perfectly there. All right, so let's talk a little bit about chocolate milk. Do any of you have a chocolate milk preference? Do you do you like chocolate milk? How long has it been since you've had chocolate milk? When I think of chocolate milk, I think of Nesquik. Or I think of like pouring the Hershey's and then stirring it and it doesn't quite stir up and it settles down and I always like cold milk so it like doesn't stir in properly and it doesn't really taste very right like Hershey syrup's always better on ice cream so that's I don't really get into that but I did I, I was like hmm they have a you know some chocolate milk on sale I was like all right I'm gonna buy some chocolate milk I'm gonna see how it sits in the belly it sits great love it very energetic it's nice it's nice it's like a quick little dessert drink i mean i i drink straight from the jug you know so you just pop cap and got yourself a drink so i will and the last time i got it i don't exactly remember what kind it was it was the on sale kind now i do know that they occasionally sell a chocolate drink which might be over there in that picture I don't know for sure might be the one down you know down below next to it but I, I don't no I don't want a chocolate drink I want chocolate milk you know so I, I look around and I was like okay let's go get some chocolate milk <laughs> let's see what they have they had some uh, 
video that ran out a little early. So we're going to go ahead and play a little bit more. Eh, why not, you know? Video's video, right? Let's play this Tanzanite video. I haven't featured Tanzanite yet. We're going to need to do that. And so I, I was looking at, the you know, the chocolate milk, and I'm like, hmm, I don't want 1%. I typically drink 2% milk. That's what I typically drink. So let's go get the 2% milk. And then I started looking at the extracurricular milks. And I saw, you know, up at the top, they usually have the healthy milks. They have the cartons, which... The carton, actually, I'm kind of interested in trying them. They have, like, a nifty crosshatch, like, that makes a difference. I want to read a little bit more about them and try to define what are they offering, why are they different from the mainstream milks, because here's, here's, here's my logic that I see, okay? There's, there's a lot of shelf space designated to one type of milk, one, one brand, one label. So I figure that's probably the largest manufacturer that has the most to sell. And the rest of them don't sell very much. But is that necessarily the case? No. No, not necessarily. No, there's strawberry milk there too, Benny Loco. Didn't you see that? I, uh... Then, then I start, I th start thinking, well, all right, if I get some of that, it's probably stuff that has been tested, you know, not necessarily tested, but people have used it, they've been using it a long, they've been drinking it a long time, they must like it, and that's why the store carries it. So you could always go, did I drop it? I'll get the old rusty poker and try to get it out. Uh, rusty trusty. So I was like, hmm, let me get this chocolate milk. And then I, I, I was like, well, what about the name brand, the, the main brand? What is it? You know, maybe our, do I really want to trust just the name brand and grab it and go? Because that is another thing. I don't want to stand there and read everything. But I, I did take the time to take a picture. Next week, potato salad. So I, I, I figured, well, what about these extracurricular milks? And I saw the Nesquik, and I thought that kind of reminds me of the Hershey's milk. And then I saw the, the little skinny ones up there that look a little healthy. And then I saw the... the they're glass jars, the dark ones. I was like, what is this dark stuff? It looks weird, like coffee, and I don't know if I like coffee. but And I still don't know what the dark ones are exactly. Like, one of them has the ring that says fat-free, but I think it's different from the one that has the blue lid. I got the one all the way over on the left. And it says on it, real milk in real glass. And I was like, okay, deal. I'm going to get that. I'm going to try it. And it is a little thicker than the 2%. I think it's whole milk. Uh, I don't know for sure. It could be 2%. It's kind of like drinking the liquid left over in the ice cream. It's thick, but it's delicious, and it's probably the reason I'm jolly. Big and jiggly and jolly. Virtual roses sound cool. Easy on the pocket. Oh, well, there you go, man. I, uh, well, you know, I got some gems, but, you know, you gotta, gotta get them in the mail. And, um... Let's see, uh, what did I miss? Oh, uh, I had chocolate for your Valentine's show. Sorry, it evaporated. Oh, thanks, Jerry. I appreciate it. Chocolate milk. That's dry, dry Nesquilk is delicious. Hmm. I didn't know that, Jerry. I Can you use dry, dry milk mix or chocolate milk mix for, like, baking and cakes and stir it in with some chocolate chip cookies and stuff? Drinks from the jugs. Oh, you know it, Benny. It just could chug, chug, chug. So delicious. A two percent or two. Oh, it's so delicious. Chocolate drink. Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want it. Dad, thirty o'clock, and then it's chocolate thirty o'clock, right? It's chocolate thirsty o'clock. I guess that kind of makes not really much sense, but it's one hundred percent whole milk glass bottle, thick and creamy. Yep, it's got to be whole milk. It's del it's delicious. I enjoy it. It's tasty. You know, it works. I I, I like it. So, um, let's see. That's pretty much it for the... Why did I buy that portion? So, I want to hype this little interview thing. Because, um, actually, I got somebody to agree to do an interview. And I got to make sure I'm on top of it. 
So uh, they're a really great producer and a funny person and an interesting guy. And he talks to a lot of people. Like he interviewed Don McLean. You know, like I don't, I didn't know this, but he's the guy who wrote, you know, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. And so he's, you know, we got to talk to him and I'm going to like record the interview and then play it back. And then I'll join you in the chats. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be cool. So we'll, we'll have that. Plus, I think I'm going to have like some interesting questions. Like, it's not just a chit chat interview. It's like a, I'm going to ask him some cool questions. You know, questions about like pizza and comic books, I guess, that kind of stuff. So um, that's. I, I kind of have it structured out, and I don't want to give away too much. I, I'm not guessing too much. I actually have it pretty much ready, but uh, i got to be extra ready because we're going to do that, like, coming up, and hopefully I can play that next week. It's going to be exciting. And then on the following week, just like with this week and every week, it's time for the joke portion of the program. Let's see what I got, because we have two weeks' worth of stuff, and most of it's not very good. Mm -mm. Nope. I am so bad, and most of it's as bad as I am at chess. I am so bad at chess that my international FIDA rating, the rating they use to rate chess, is in the red. I filed for bankruptcy. Chess rupsy. Gotta get a loan, take out more FIDA points. What's going to be the next exercise craze? Passing the Peloton baton. Or passing the Pelo baton. If you have to work... I, I guess it's it's an exercise thing. Yeah. If you have to work to get a refund, does that mean you have to pay taxes on it? <laughs> Why did the lumberjack have such an organized pile of plant tinder? He was stalk piling it. I told you these were pretty rough, but I, I got a couple of good. They're, they're up at the top. They're all right. We're just getting started. What do you call really rare medicine? One of a kind, bud. That's for girlmies. What is it when what? Okay, what is it when people stay the night and play hangman? What do you call it? When people stay the night and play hangman, a hangover. It's like a sleepover. Why wouldn't the Undertaker bury the soccer player? Because he's still kicking. Someone was sad because they couldn't see the dark side of the moon. I said to look on the bright side. At least they can see the bright side. Why did the plumber call the shoemaker? He found a clog in the drain. Some... Okay... I read that already. Which marmot is ready to go to war? A combat. Probably got the corona and is upset about it. Okay, how do ants run off to get married? They ride an antelope. The baker baked so many buns, he did a dance because he made a bun dance. Nope, that... That was a halfway done joke. Shame on me. Shouldn't even read that one. Let's move it to next week. What do you call a gun that shoots food? A staple gun. Works, right? Have you ever noticed, like, that when you're in public, you try to, like, you don't want to be the guy that's coughing, so you try to hold in a cough, and then you cough, and then the cough's all weird, and then people look at you like, is that one of them weird corona coughs? That's not really a joke. Why it? But it, it. It. I don't know. Am I making jokes? Of course. It's the joke portion. Do I? Is did I do that? I had the intro, right? Yes. Okay. Great. Winning one day at a time. What do you call a bird who steals a Grifton? What does King Arthur take when he has a cough? Night quill. What's an alcoholic beer with a high ABV? No, 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 that's bad. That's a, that's redundant. What's what's a high class beer with high ABV? It's bougie. It's a bougie beer. 
What do dairy cows use to block the sun out of their windows? Curdans. Mm -mm. We're getting close, folks, but uh, not like only two thirds of the way. I wanted to give a shout out to Rodney Dangerfield, but I, but he never gets any respect. Wait, did I say that backwards? I wanted to give a shout out to Rodney Dangerfield, but I give no respect because he gets he gets. But I can't give him any respect. Uh, that that joke needs work. It sound <coughs> it sounded good when I was tired. Cheers. <clears throat> Almost. A few more. When I get things done, I don't just get things done. I get things done, done, done. What did the chef say when he saw a bunch of ham? Damn! What do baby snowmen hang over their cribs? Snowmobiles. <clears throat> Why do people who promote things have fresh breath? Because of their endorsements. What's the coolest book in the Bible? Deuteronomy. Why do dogs woof at the door? Because they want to disembark. Mm -mm. What kind of beer do you drink when you're waiting for your video to buffer? Lag lager. Lager? Yeah. Lager. 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 Next joke. What comes after the chili party? The after farty. Poot joke. Why did Batman get upset with the riv Riddler? He couldn't take his riddle in. Last one. What should you do if your plant keeps falling over? Use something proper. No, uh, I, I think I was going to finish that one. It was supposed to be, what should you use if your plant prop keeps falling over? Use something proper. More, more proper. That's a little better. We'll rewrite write that one. Shh. One more. This one I, I actually forgot, so that's why it's on the wrong list. Uh, what do you what what do champions wash their hair with? Shampoo. And that's right. You can check out our full line of champs for champs at shampoo.com. Sponsor of this week's <laughs> joke portion of the program. Glad you all were here to witness that train. Wrecking all over in live time. So um, what we're going to do is make sure I didn't miss. Okay, we got the uh, diopside, chocolate milk. Sometimes I'm like, hey, we're going to feature that on the show, and then we don't. Trace amounts of effort. Got that. And uh, we're going to do a game of chess and send you all on your way for how fantastic you are. All right, where is the chess.com and um okay there we go chess portion check little bit of gem rolling um let's give a little bit of rose quartz going this one Yeah, it's rosy enough. It's kind of like some pink ametrine. That's a nice piece. I think we featured that recently, so it's good. We can we can go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to play a one-minute game of chess live against someone in the world. And uh, I've only won one of these, so we're going to see if I can uh, double my record. One-minute game of bullet chess live. I'm waiting for someone. Uh oh. I don't know how to play this side. Um, let's see if we go like uh, this. Um, that. And there. And here. Mm. 
we're gonna go here and we're gonna go um, um, here and we're gonna go there and we're gonna go um, here and we're gonna go um, here oh why did he do that did I win Oh, he resigned! Holy Fritoles, I won! I gave up on it. I won! I won one! Yay! We actually won! Okay, we have to do the analysis. It's not It's not the same. I, I really like doing that. I really like showing you all the analysis. Let's see if I can do that. Because um, it should... Let's see. Okay, it's showing. So the, the bar over on the left notice how it's got the black and the white that shows when I'm doing good and when I'm not doing good let's see where I messed up and where I didn't okay that was a mess up that was a mess up that was a really a mess up that was when he messed up majorly and then I started winning so apparently I wasn't doing very good until early Wow, that's a thing, it happened in real time, and you were all here for it, that is so cool, I am glad that you all were here for that, can't believe it actually happened, Crystal Shaman made it, chess with a random person, makes me go, blah, 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 blah. me too Benny, you saw that happen in real time, man I feel so good, I'm glad you all were here for that, you all are winners too, because you were part of the show, and if you're watching this later, you're a winner too. You got the chance to win every single day. Make it happen. I love you all. I hope I get to see you next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern.